Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and we're here with Don from Fleetwood Holiday Rambler. We have a brand new floor plan that yep. you want to show us. This is an amazing floor plan. You may have seen it out there, but we're going to give you a detailed walk around. Yeah, yeah, it's really great. Brand new Bounder 35G. Uh, we're excited to show everybody here at the show. Yeah, it's really special. So why don't we just start on the outside, and then once we get inside, you're going to really see why this is such a special yeah. coach. Yep. Uh, first thing I want to point out on the outside, um, first it's the the really great uh, iconic bounder front end great paint job uh, full body paint but one of the one of the best things about this floor plan is all the storage space on the outside and this this whole uh, patio side is truly a patio with no slide interfering into the space you have a long 17 foot awning um, and every single one of these luggage bays except for this one <laughs> is true storage so and most of them are pass through storage yeah that's that's a nice thing i see you finish like with the rotocast yep, it's, the it's roto really, cast really tub, easy yep. to clean and yeah i like how it's finished out up top and you yeah. do get that storage really nice full body paint of course on yeah any full of these body bounders. paint um but again more storage so we know we know everybody wants to have lots and lots of storage um, out on the road. So the full patio side, except for where the uh, LP is at, is storage. And most of them is passed through. Now, yeah, compared to, so we have a Newmar, and you know, we have storage, but we do have those slides. And this is definitely more storage. Now, yeah. I see something here, and I'm not familiar with it. Maybe you can point it out. What is the, the power platform? What so does the, that mean? The power platform is, uh, is our platform for our uh, core gas product. Okay. It'd be bounder south wind um, and then it'd be the vacationer on the holiday rambler side and that is our platform it's a saddle type platform bridge uh, that straddles the the rails from for on the ford f53 chassis and it lowers the the uh storage keeps everything low but it still allows us to give you a lot of storage so you actually do some i guess upgrades and modifications to the stock f53 we don't do modifications but instead of Instead of us building a truss style system okay. off of those rails, we actually fabricate our power platform beforehand and then it's flown over the top of the Ford F53 chassis and straddles on. Got it, so. okay, very good. Can we take a look at the yeah. uh, driver's side? Yeah, uh, we'll go around this way. At the show here, we can't get all the way around. <laughs> now it is industry day today, so it's a little more quiet. Tomorrow it's gonna start getting real, it's gonna get real here. So uh, driver side, road side, uh, uh, you do have that big slide sticking out and you'll see how great that big slide is once we get inside. But again, storage. You've got your fresh tank in here, but there is some storage. Again, and you're able to see that, that pass through storage all the way through. Now, is this another storage here? Oh, that's going to be your so hydraulic that's your, fluid. Yeah, your yeah. hydraulic fluid. We do have the generator running this morning. It's not real loud. Here's your, your uh, I call it the, the wash down bay or okay. your utility bay. Onan generator. Uh, we do have the power cord reel on the on the boundary. That's we an don't option. have that, and we yeah, really should have that. That's an option. This one's got that. <laughs> okay. So in your search card, so really nice exterior. Um, love this color. One other thing I like on the rear here. So you do have a ladder. Yep. But the ladder, it's kind of like the half ladder, so you yep. don't get kids climbing yeah. up there. Safety. Yep. So yeah. which is a really nice thing. All LED lights, rear camera. Yep. Now is this your fuel fill? Your back fuel here? fill on the boundary is okay. on the back on the rear cap. So. And now the generators, uh, what size generator uh, do you have in here? 5,500. Okay, very nice. So, and now regarding uh, as far as, uh, this is a tankless water heater or a regular six? Uh, this is a regular water heater. Okay, you, yeah. can you option a tankless? Uh, not at this time. Okay, no. so let's let's go on the inside, right? So it looks yeah. really nice. So you can warm up. Yeah, we'll warm up. It's a little <laughs> chilly here in Florida. 
this is where the real cool stuff kicks in. Obviously. Well, I do like kind of like the entry is almost pushed to the mid. Real quick, okay. we do have the exterior TV, which is pretty standard today on a... Yeah, with a sound bar. Yeah, with a sound bar. So. Super nice. We'll go inside. Yeah. I'll get the lights on. So kind of first impression, it's, you really feel right away that this is different, right? Yeah, um, certainly. You're entering, uh, somebody commented on, on social media, it's almost like it's a rear entry coach. Yes. Um, Cause the entry is so far back. Uh, we call it a mid entry, but, uh, and you enter right into the, the galley or the kitchen, which is kind of different um, with this split galley, really nice layout, lots of countertop space when you use the uh, sink covers or the stove covers. Um, and I think our interior designers really did a great job on this. So I will comment, we said this, uh, we, we're actually gonna have a Fleetwood premiere coming out a little later this week, but we commented whoever's designing the Fleetwood Holiday Rambler yep. or all the products, they, it, they're making it look like a home. Like yes. you could yeah. see like yes. the molding, the two-tone, it looks really home, like it feels like you're at home. Yeah, which is really and, nice. and our interior designers, uh, interior designers, a shout out to them. Uh, Andrea and Mindy uh, really work hard at what are the trends mm -hmm. in home design? What right. are the trends that people are using in their house? They go to home shows and fabric shows and all kinds of yeah, shows. Yeah, definitely and they shows. bring all that in because you, even though you're out on the road, you want it to feel of like course. home, right? You don't want it to feel like a box. and so. Yeah, and there's something that I, and I see it on here and we saw it on, on I believe, a Discovery. So you have the the drop down bunk, right? Drop down bunk. And you yep. could easily have just, this could have been plain, but yep. you put the puck lighting, the crown molding, yeah. it just yeah. makes it look really good. And, you know, this space up here, you're utilizing that high space to get extra yeah. sleep room, yep. which is really yeah. great. When yeah, when you need it. If you don't need it, like you said, the bed's up out of the way and it still looks stylish. It's not just flat boring design right yeah. now this table here some people may say like you know this is kind of in the way like look how much space this is taking up but there's something really special yeah about there this. is this so this is our patent pending exclusive adaptable dinette is what we what we call it um again if you need to eat for four you have it in this position um for stow to stow it away for travel or if you don't need the space you just spin it Three, it's a great work and area. push it in. Now it's stowed away, out of yep. the way, and you see all Much of this water space this in here, but uh, it's now a convenient workspace. So right? why this is genius is that, so you have a two slide coach, yep. but in here it feels really wide. Oh, yeah. You don't have that slide, so it's obviously less to go wrong with a slide, but it gives you all that storage, yet you're still getting this. Plus you're saving on weight now oh, yeah. having those extra slides, yep. which exactly. is a really cool yep. thing. One question, what is the tow capacity on here? Uh, I'm not exactly sure off okay. the top of my head. So this, I will say this uh, 35GL and the uh, bigger 36F Founder Floor Plane are on the 26,000 pound okay. chassis. Okay. So we do get questions about this 35 foot coach because some of them are on the 22 and this right. one is the 26,000 pound chassis. So I like the MCD shades. Yeah. Yep. I was trying to open so that, you, you went with it. Do I have to pull down? Yeah, there, there you go. go. Okay. Yeah, the board, that's such a nice view out. Yeah, right out the patio. Yeah. Yeah. And again, if you're so working, you if you're working with your computer, too, you've got nice. that view. Yeah, it's. And then the TV right above TV you. TV right there. Yeah. So this, um, you can. Uh, I'll have to look at the options. This is a brand new floor plan. Um, I think you can get a, the booth or a dine a different dinette here okay. if you don't like that. Yeah, um, that would be the way to go. Yeah. This is option. You would normally get a sofa here, but we we put in the the theater seating in here, which is really nice to sit here and you have your TV up yeah. there. Um, now, the, the sofa that would come standard, is that going to be like a trifold, a jackknife? Standard sofa. Uh, uh, jackknife. Yeah, okay, jackknife. So, so people that are asking, you know, how, how can you sleep people in here? Well, if you're just a, a couple like, yeah. you know, like us, we have one son, perfect, and then you have the drop down, yeah. right? But yep. if you have more kids, you can get trifold, yeah. yep. you get the bunk, you get the seats in the back. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I like how you finish out the cockpit, really yep. nice. Yep. And uh, you guys do a really good job. 
the, the other thing you're going to notice in here is there's lots of storage yeah. for this floor plan. You've got storage over here above the, the dinette um, if you need it. Um, kind of kind of hidden storage, um, but you do have storage behind the TV if you need it or for your electronics. I like to have the adjustable um, shelves. Adjustable shelves. Yep. We try to put those everywhere we can. Um, again, the sound bar storage that's where somebody put their trash <laughs> and so, all you have all electronic yep. as far as it was is the uh firefly system precision circuits in this one uh, okay yeah. so where you can touch everything yep. control now is there an app available for this there also? is an app so you okay. can you can put it on your phone and control basically control 90 percent of the coach from your phone um you can even take slides out with your phone yeah that's great um yeah so pretty awesome uh again the back end of the split galley uh really like it we're getting good comp compliments on this you kind of have your triangle, which mm -hmm. people like to have in their kitchens. You've got the stove, the sink over here with the, the really nice uh, French-style refrigerator. Right Samsung. Yep, Samsung, so just, yeah. You have a convection oven. I know you can option in an oven. I, yes, I you can option so in an good. oven. Yep. Although we love convection. I know yeah. a lot of people yep. like that. Yep. Yep. So what I, what I like about this is that, number one, you have a lot of counter space, right? So you can work your counter space. But, this is one of those coaches that it feels like it's a very distinct, like oh, yeah. living room, kitchen, right? Walls, yep. and then you have your bedroom. Yeah. And you guys yep. do a really good job on a gas coach, like showing that. Yeah, and that's kind of kind of what we're really working hard at, at Rev, at Fleetwood, mm -hmm. Holiday Rambler, um, American Coach, is for a long time, the industry's kind of got in this rut of copy, paste, yep. copy, paste, right? This manufacturer would have a really good floor plan, so everybody would copy it. Our designers and our product manager is really working hard at let's innovate, let's create something new, and this is what they've come up with on their Bounder platform. Yeah, so, super. It's really nice. What I like too about this, I know I'm probably not being heard that well, but when this is closed, when the slides are closed, you can still fold. Oh yeah, recline, yep. When the and, slides are all closed, I mean, there's so much room open and closed, which is great. Yeah, when it's in travel mode. Um, as, as Mike calls it, you can get all the way from the cockpit to the bed. Um, the bed does have to be up in that uh, raised position to close the slide up. Um, but hey, That's another thing you guys are doing. We'll talk about that when yeah. we get to the bedroom. Yep. Uh, moving back, um, another thing that we wrote, you'll see on Fleetwoods and Holidays is we, is we try to feature walls. We call them feature walls or art. You'll see we're putting uh, uh, mind with the molding the here. Molding. Yeah. You'll, you have the two different colors of, of wallboard. Again, make it feel residential. Yeah, it looks so. very residential. That, that simple, just the use of yep. two colors makes a huge difference. And just a, this is like a little bit different of a wallpaper. Yeah. You usually see that, that beige, yep. everybody has the same thing, but it just makes a big difference. Uh, so in the middle of the coach, we're in the, the bathroom. This is a single bath coach. It's a split bath. Um, so the nice thing about this bath is uh, nice little shower in the corner, but you do have two sinks mm -hmm. and two medicine cabinets. So a his and hers, um, or the kids get one, mom and dad get one. Um, a private lobby, um, so you can close that off um, if someone's in there and still pass through. Mm -hmm. uh, That's great. And then you have yep. your... I'm gonna get caught on camera or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all right. But um, you, you have your pocket doors Yeah, here. pocket yes. doors to close off the bedroom. Um, so for privacy or keep it keep it quiet or whatever. I also noticed that you don't have uh, heat registers on the floor. Nope. Everything is, yes. is a little of, higher. Yes, all of our registers come at, don't come through the floor. They come out of a cabinet or under the bed or something. So, so again, back here in the bedroom, one slide. So normally yep. it would feel tight. But what you're doing and some other companies are doing, you, you're using the beds that move yep. to save yeah. a lot of space. Yeah, it allows us to get that deeper slide mm -hmm. and still when it's when you bring it in, um, you, you're able to have that deeper slide and the deep, deep wardrobe on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you'll see these wardrobes are really deep. Um, and down here, which is awesome. So this is an option, but people yeah. are getting great comments. People are loving it. Um, side by side, not a combo. Uh, wash and dryer. This is an option. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, uh, some of the comments are on storage in the bedroom. Um, this would normally be a dresser. Okay. So you would have like eight drawers here, which would be 
just as good, you know, would be great. Well, at least it's an option if you, if yeah. you want that. Yep. Like, I know for us, we have washer-dryer hookup. We didn't get it because we just didn't need it yeah. for our style. We had that space, but that's a good yep. thing yeah. to, so. to have at least that option. So, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Let's come out here. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below what you think about this floor plan. If anybody has questions, wants more information, they, they want to know more, who can they contact? Um, they can go to fleetwoodrv.com. Mm -hmm. um, there's a contact us form. Um, or they can call 800-322-8216 uh, and, and ask for our sales department. Or if you want, you can email sales at revrvgroup.com. Or they could come see you at the show and if they're coming yeah, out to the show. Right. Yeah, thanks. You, you, see you us you at the wanna, show. Yeah, you want to yeah. see this. This is yeah. a very Yeah, cool it's, it's a pretty cool floor plan. So let us know in the comments below. If anybody wants to come see you at the show, we definitely encourage that. Thank you, thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you at the show. Thank you.